For lesson number three, we want to apply what we learned in lesson number one and two about how much dye there is versus alcohol and how to start controlling it. The technique we're going to use is called push and glide. Karen Walker came up with that. And to start with, I just have a very simple drawing of some petals. I've labeled my palette, and there are lots of different kinds of palettes that you can get. But I'm using a rather large brush. This is a number seven, and you'll see it soaks up the ink right away. Now lemonade, we're gonna just put a little bit of ink in the middle. It has a lot of alcohol and look how far it's moving with just one stroke. So I'm gonna put another little stroke in the middle and watch how it moves to the outside. And so push and glide just means that put ink in the middle and kind of push it out to the edges. The less strokes you make, the more solid the picture is gonna look the most solid that petal is going to look. So that one looks pretty solid. And next we're going to go to Sunshine Yellow. Again, let your brush soak up that ink. We'll start in the middle. And you can see how much the alcohol is pushing the dye to the edges. Pretty similar to the lemonade. We'll lay down a little bit more and push and glide to the outside of the petal. So the alcohol content was definitely higher here, but there's still a lot in the sunshine yellow as well as the lemonade. Now honeycomb, let's see what that one does. Set it in the middle, and it's really not moving very much at all. So we're going to need to add more ink, press down. So this is really the pushing side of the push and glide. But you see there's a lot more control with the honeycomb than the other two yellows because there's less alcohol to dye. So let's take a look at some oranges. Start with Sunset Orange. See how it compares. Start in the middle. So it's moving, but not that much. Of course, when you do this, you can turn your card around to what's ever most comfortable. I'm just trying to keep it all in one position to make it easier for you to see. So start in the inside and push the ink to the outside. But what you're left with is pretty solid. Okay, let's try Valencia. Start in the center. It's moving, but it's not moving very far. So I'm just gonna push from the center out. Now the lines that are there is where wet ink touches dry ink. And it definitely gives everything character. And the last color we want to try is Poppy Field. This one is red. It's 
not moving very much at all. So I'm pushing it out. Okay, so something, so what we see is the most solid is the lemonade that had the most amount of alcohol in it. Then, sunshine yellow. Poppy field and honeycomb, less alcohol, more dye. So another thing that's really fun to do since we have these colors is to actually put on some layers. So let's take our lemonade and add a little bit of sunshine yellow on top of it. I'll just do half so that you can see it. So now you've got the yellow color mixing with the red. Let's try some of that Valencia. Put some of that over here. And it doesn't move the yellow below, but because the colors are translucent, because you can see through them, that's a different color than this one. Now the poppy field, I can go ahead and just add some alcohol to it. That guy here. We get some real pretty colors. Let's put a little bit more poppy field. On top of this sunset yellow. Oops. How about sunset orange? So you can layer your inks. Now I can take some alcohol. I've got some dirty alcohol here in my shot glass. And spread that and it'll activate the ink that's below, but it gives you some real pretty colors. So just by adding alcohol, then your dye will start to move again. And you get some real pretty shading effects. So what have we learned? The amount of alcohol in the ink will dictate how far that you can push it and glide. You can layer colors on top of each other. You can add alcohol on top as well. And let's just put another layer of poppy field on here. Make some nice little swirls. Same thing with these little dots. The amount of the alcohol will dictate how far they will move. You can see our honeycomb has evaporated in the center and kind of beat it up on the side. So you can take that and you can paint with a more concentrated ink. But we'll cover that in another lesson. Same thing with this Valencia. See how it's all beaded up? Looks like a wine glass. Well, when we use that, we have a darker color because the alcohol is gone. And what's left is dye. 
got to just put a little bit of poppy field in there too. Poppy field will, will also beat up on the edges and those dark places are where your ink is concentrated. There's our little exercise.